Good morning, humans! So I still can't get my gnome fixed, but hey, I'm closing to find out the roots of all evil! <laughs> Meanwhile I customize plasma installation so I can work a little bit. I didn't do major changes, just a few I will show you in a moment. But by using plasma, I actually made a precious discovery I'll share on a follow-up for dramatic purposes obviously. Anyway, let's do this! The panel is floating on top, it's not full width, and it's using some translucency although full opaque may look better. I also did some additional modifications on default panel items themselves. Most specifically, I dropped the start menu, because I found myself using KRunner for everything. Speaking of which, I kept the plugins on very minimum, running apps, running system commands, and showing the settings. No searching for files and polluting the output. Another change I made was to buy this workspaces indicator for $14.99 that is also interactive so we can click to switch virtual desktop, even if you'll never use it like that. Then I placed favorites and running on the middle by using spacers, that excuse me very much, but I find it impossible stupid way for arranging items. And I also set it to display apps from all workspaces. On the right side I only removed the clock, cause it gets me anxious to see the time flies, and I put another clock, bigger, that makes me even more anxious. Um, not a very wise choice maybe? Next, a few things about panel visibility policy, that either KDE has it completely screwed or I'm missing something? I've set it on Windows can cover, but let me show you what happens on auto hide, which is what I believe I was actually looking for. So on auto hide the panel is hidden even when there are not windows overlapping it, and we should hit the top to bring it on. And by the way, there is still not pressure sensitivity, something that in GNOME took them 5 hours to implement, but in Plasma is still missing after 10 years. Can't KDE devs realize they can't do hotspots without it? What ever. The other option of the panel is to set it always visible. Meanwhile, the editing experience might seem overdramatic, but in reality it feels okay, considering. Now? When a window is touching the panel, the panel stops to floating, it becomes fatter, and anyway everything gets terrible, not to mention all the space it steals. So I ended up with the Windows can cover policy, that has its very own issues. But at least it behaves closely to auto hide. Now if we maximize the window, the panel will get invisible, and it will come back if we hit the top, but without an animation, and it will get vanished again if we click on the maximized window. I understand that auto hide can become very frustrating, especially this specifically auto hide, but I also believe that it works better when the bar is on top rather when is on the bottom, although it needs some training for operating chrome tabs without accidentally hitting the panel. But you can't really tell, because this panel and all panel options are so bugged in so many ways. On KDE, you just pick a setup and you just learn to live with it till it feels normal. I've bind super key to open overview similar to shell. But that's where similarities end because oh my god this awful placement of windows. It may looked okay so far, but check out what happens if we open a third window. Simply and plain awful. That's with the closest layout which isn't the default, but what if revert back to natural? Better right? Except of course if we reposition the windows. Yet another thing it took 5 hours in GNOME to fix, and it is completely broken after 10 years on Plasma. That's not the worst about the Plasma workspaces, that honor belongs to virtual desktop selection, which is not even possible, so if we click on the thumbnail, it will directly open it rather preview it. So most of the times you'll need to go back to overview for actually picking the window you want. And there is not any way to navigate through workspaces on overview, at least not with the mouse, except if we use keyboard navigation that I'm not quite sure what the hell is going on. Oh well. As I said previously, after a certain point of time and a certain amount of pills, you just learn to live with it. And this mess is now part of your everyday life. It's a freaking cult. It feels normal. And I almost can understand why Plasma users don't complain. I kept Breeze theme but I changed the fonts. And I especially highlight that because I noticed that Plasma can't render thin fonts. It's like anti-aliasing stops working so selecting some fatter fonts will hugely increase the typography quality. I also switched to GNOME icon set, so system GNOME applications look and feel natural, and specially files. At the same time KDE will still use the Breeze icon set for their apps, with the file picker exception that shows some blurry folders. Oh, 
and I also removed minimization windows decorations. About default applications? I'm not trading GNOME apps with anything in the world, and fortunately using GNOME files and GNOME terminal in Plasma is completely doable without any issues so far. Which is very promising, because perhaps someday in the future if my GNOME dies again, I may be able to switch and use Cosmic, and still have all my favorite apps working perfectly. Obviously it would be much greater if Cosmic was written on GTK RS, but you can't have it all can you? But back to Plasma, first don't even ask, cause it's completely ridiculous to compare it with GNOME, and yet, I discovered something that makes Plasma much more efficient for me to use. So no matter that UI chaos there are still real factors for people to be happier on K-Realm. And maybe, just maybe, I stay a bit longer here. Who knows? Tomorrow then. Bye bye!